What do you mean, what's so disturbing? There's a dead person I'm staring at. Hello, Internet. My name is Blitz, and today we are playing The Corpse Behind the Window. It is... Hi. I have a cat with me. Because we are both very cold in this new space. It is another game, AP Productions, which is the same developer that did Sleep Through, Hair Behind the Wall, and a bunch of other games that I have done on this channel. Um, this is a new release. It... There is a soundtrack that is used that was also composed by the developer called Shapes. I'll put links to that in the description if you're interested. I'm told that they are heavily connected. Let's begin, shall we? Okay. You have to sleep. To do that, you have to close your eyes. Clicking anywhere with the left mouse bu button... Wow. Clicking anywhere with the left mouse button will close your eyes. Clicking anywhere with the right mouse button will open your eyes. Once your eyes are closed, you have to fall asleep. To do that, you have to click with the left mouse button on the gray stains you see on your screen in order from darkest to brightest. Okay, take too much time in doing that and the corpse will appear behind the window. When you start sensing the corpse approaching the window, open your eyes to make it go away. The stains sorting process is zeroed every time you open your eyes. If you click on the wrong stain, your eyes will automatically open. This will lead to a so-called game over if the corpse is already behind the window, preventing you from falling asleep for the rest of the night. There are basically two main strategies to fall asleep. Be very careful while choosing the stain to click at risk of being wrong after a long correct sequence, or slowly learn the correct sequence by doing several short trial and error attempts, promptly avoiding the corpse as it starts approaching. Once you fall asleep, you dream. Your progress will be saved after every night you manage to fall asleep. Quit anytime pressing the escape button on your keyboard. Okay. So now that we know how to play... Welcome. Gotta make sure my volume is... Oh, jeez. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, what? Maybe I should turn this off. Maybe you can't see me. Ah, the corpse behind the window. Okay. I never thought about that. Are you sure? Why is there a tree in my room? Yeah? And where do you see it? Behind that window, where you are. But there's nothing behind the window. Are you dead? What's this? Is that a gun? It's gone now. I see. No, you don't. I mean, never mind. Doctor? Yes? Do you think it's dangerous? My hallucination? Probably. I don't know. What does it do? It just stays over there, standing by that window, watching me with an angry face. And then, what happens? I try to sleep, but I can't. It's too disturbing. What's so disturbing? What do you mean, what's so disturbing? There's a dead person I'm staring at. The fact that it's a corpse of an old man. How can you be sure it's a corpse? Because I'm the only one still alive. What? Remember, in your condition, losing sleep will lead to dramatic consequences. I know. I wish I could stay longer just for the night. Y do you realize I'm not really here? I do. But please don't go away. Not yet. I can't. I'm leaving. You know how this works. Wait. Okay, so here's the instructions again. Left mouse button. Wait, do I quick with my right? Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm turn the volume up just a bit. Darkest. Oh, shit. Darkest. Uh, he's coming. No, he's not. Shut up. This is a lovely dream. Grass field. This is on the soundtrack. Sun. Oh, sorry. Keep knocking into that. Tree. It's... Flowers! <laughs> Bird. Very interesting. It's 
That's a very interesting concept. Oh, breeze. <laughs> that's creative. The after effect that's there. Oh, goodbye tree. I'm still not sure if it's me clicking. No, it's not me clicking, so I don't need to do anything. Okay, flowers by flowers. The sun should be next, right? Okay, goodbye sun. And the grass field. Okay, bye grass field. What a peaceful, calming dream. What do you mean I'm the last human being on Earth? What is that about? Should I be more concerned about that? Is that not actually a thing? Is that one of my... delusions? Hi, Doctor. I had a dream. What dream? I was in a grass field. Sounds nice. There were colorful flowers. Flowers? Yes, and the sun was high up in the sky. Did you see the sky? Yeah, then a bird flew by. Where was it going? To the next dream. Oh, to what? Then a gentle breeze caressed my face. Are you forgetting anything? The tree? Right there? Exactly. It was tall and brown and green, both. Seems like a common tree. No, it wasn't. Why? You won't get it. Just tell me why it wasn't so common. It was happy. And you? Me too, but it was like I couldn't foresee my past. You mean your future? Like a shallow pool in the sea of rocks. Now you go. Hmm. Interesting. The second night. I think I'm going to do one more night before I end this episode. Okay. Alright. Darkest... Boink. Aha! Huge heap of gray and gray and viscous material. Huh. Huge heap of gray and viscous material. What could that be? Ocean, maybe? I mean, sometimes the ocean can be gray in like a storm area. It kind of looks like the edge of the waves, the words do. Hmm. It's very interesting, sort of like forces you to imagine it. Or is it a build? No. I don't think a building would be viscous. Kind of looks like a pyramid, though. I had a dream, and we will stop it there. Thank you so much for watching. Game links in the description below, as always. And until next time, bye, Internet. And I have Pixel here. I don't know if his purr is going to show up, but we'll see. Don't do that to the microphone. Silly mittens. Silly mittens. Okay. Hi, Pixel. Okay. There. You stay right there. You stay. No, you stay. Stop! You stay right there like a little cute burrito. There you go. Make sure. No, Pixel, Pixel. You're gonna have to get down. Yeah, you stay right there. There. You stay right there like that. Okay? Okay. In order for the dark... Okay. You're gonna have to get down. Sorry, Pixel. You cannot handle yourself. You have to get down. No, Pixel. Sweetheart. I love you. You're gonna scare the shit out of me, though, if you keep jumping up.